and welcome to another episode of Bernadette TV and today we're talking about how to design your online course. Now there's a couple of reasons why it's important that you know how to do this. The first and foremost is your customer experience. So um, the best selling courses online are offering and promising some form of transformation. So your course needs to be designed so that it delivers that transformation to your customer. That's number one. The second reason you need to know how to design your online course is when you are the expert on your subject, there is a temptation and a tendency to try and put into your online course everything you know about the subject matter. That's a mistake on two parts. One, it will be overwhelming for your customer, but the second is you actually want to um, keep back some of the information that would be better suited to other products and programs down the line. So how do you go about designing your course? Well, as I said earlier, the best selling courses online are promising some type of transformation. So think of your program as the vehicle that takes your customer from point A with the problem that they have or the goal or objective they have to point B where the problem is now solved or the objective is now achieved. So maybe you help people to train for marathons. So here they are, um, person with a goal for running a marathon but doesn't know how, out of shape, no real you know, running experience to here, crossing the finish line in the marathon. So think about you've got point A to point B. Now once you get really clear on where the starting point is and where that they're going to end up, what you do is you reverse engineer it. So I ask the question, okay, what are all of the steps that someone isn't going to need to go through or take to get from point A to point B. And some of those steps might be information that they knew, need. Some of those steps might be shifting a belief. Some of those steps might be acquiring new skills or even new behaviours or habits. And what you want to do is just break it out. Now, I like to break out the post-it notes to do this um, because I just find that way of kind of just mapping it all out makes it tons easier. So you break down all of the steps that they're going to need to go for, through and then the next thing that you need to ask yourself as the course designer is okay what do I need to now put in place to have help them have these experiences or put in place these habits. So some of that might be information and sometimes it might be that you're delivering transformation. So it might be that you have them do an assignment where their goal is to get them to have an experience that then shifts their belief. Or it could be, you know, if it's just simple as following a step-by-step -step process, it might be that you need to map out the steps and give them a checklist for each of the steps. So you go through the entire transformation, you break it down into the steps that they need to go through, and then you ask yourself the question, how do you deliver on those? And then finally, you want to take that uh, outline and start to organize it into some logical order for delivery. So it's a quickie, I know, and I've given you like a lot of information in a short space of time, but I just wanted to share with you the process that I've used to map out the programs that I've been selling online for over 12 years now. Hope it's helped you. Feel free to leave your comments or questions in the chat below, and I'll see you on a future episode of Bernadette TV. If you like this video and want to see even more great content on how to grow your online business, then keep watching.